The world of unlicensed NES games is a strange and exotic one indeed. As we all know, most NES games have that illustrious Nintendo seal of quality to let you know you were playing a great piece of electro-digital amusement. But some developers didn't get that seal of approval, but they went ahead and made their own bootleg games anyway. And I will be the first to admit that some of those bootleg games are really good, especially those made by Tengen and, uh, Tengen. Tengen had the best version of Tetris and other great arcade ports like Gauntlet and Pac-Man. This might be expected as Tengen was a real professional company. In fact, they were the software arm of the Atari Corporation, who were unlicensed by Nintendo due to a series of convoluted legal issues that I don't know or care about. Besides Tengen, the unlicensed NES library, uh, sucks. The most notorious large company making these games is Color Dreams. Or is it Bunch Games? Or is it Wisdom Tree? They made a bunch of crappy games like King Neptune's Adventure and Master Chu and the Drunken Hue before they changed their name to Wisdom Tree and went on a mission from Gad. And by that, I mean they made crappy religious-themed video games. Protestantism, am I right? We're not here to talk about watered-down lame versions of Christianity, though. We're here to talk about something completely different. Or is it? Oh, snap! The Panessian Limited Group made pornographic video games for the venerable Nintendo. Three of them, to be exact. Hot Slots, Peekaboo Poker, and today's topic, Bubble Bath Babes. And I completely failed to find any further information about this company. Released in 1991, Bubble Bath Babes is a puzzle game which I can best describe as Reverse Tetris. In the game, you control bubbles flying upwards, bubbles in groups ranging from 2 to 6. The goal is, of course, to connect lines and make them disappear. Not to clear the board, mind you, but to fill the magic meter on the side, which you get by popping the lettered bubbles. The game gives you the ability to rotate the bubbles in 90 degree angles and also by plane, but that's not why you're watching the game, is it? You want the stuff that dreams are made out of. Memories. Each level presents to you a babe, a bubble bath babe, you might say. And it's the same girl in each level. Not that you'd be giving yourself a once-over because her lovely body belies a shapeless, weird-looking face. And also, the game's really intense. <laughs> yeah, you thought this game would just be a leisurely bit of porno? Wrong! This game is hard. The game requires exact placement of the bubbles in really unlikely angles to clear the board. Sometimes you can kind of, like, phase the bubbles through the ones that already exist, but it only does that whenever it feels like it. Where are the bosoms, you might ask? Oh, you get them every two levels. Beat two levels and you are rewarded with decently rendered 8-bit ladies who speak in staggeringly unsexy dialogue that's all in capital letters. So I choose to interpret it in capital letters. Bubbling Bunny wants to pop my bubble near. I bet I can make yours, boys. So you play through the game and... And you have to grit your teeth and fight your way through, tooth and nail, because them titties are waiting for you, hanging below those twitchy Tourette's faces. Or not, because YouTube provides the only reason you would ever want to play this game. Burst my bubble. Damn it, if I wanted to be emasculated, I wouldn't be playing this game. Care to lather you up? Why, yes, I will lather you up, and then I'll walk away, doing my duty. Yeah, if I was the luckiest man in the world, I'd have that damn YouTube plaque. Blow my bubbles, peel my potatoes. You can't just use any two combinations of verb, possessive, proper noun, and general noun to be a double entendre, you philistine. Couldn't you just use a slip and slide? Flattery won't get you anywhere, woman. Disrobe. You said look at it, you dozy broad. Way to drop my soap. Stop with the damn verb and noun constructions. Oh, I've seen quite a lot. Yes, let us celebrate. By celebrate, I of course mean cry and silently fap. So yeah, that was Bubble Bath Babes. It actually has decent nudity for what little that's worth, combined with a puzzle idea that could have been good, but needed some work. They made a non-pornographic version of it a year later, Mermaids of Atlantis. Hey Landman, wanna foidalize my caviar? <clears throat> I do a fantastic Jody Benson impression. I'm Larson Halleck. Find some other porno.